Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my next video here. We are again live here with Queen Judge Lalo and today we will hit a lot of box spaces here and you will learn some approaches what can you do typ typically on box spaces. So let's start with this attack. I used my Yeti Blimp, the Blimp really didn't work like I wanted so the first attack you don't see a classic approach I guess just how I can react on this and what I thought about it. So my plan was to blimp the multi tower and the ground ball. I didn't invest the rage and then I wanted to charge the town hall and then Nalo from like 3 bis 4 o'clock. But now, yeah, the things went wrong so I thought, okay, what can I do now? I have three wall breaks so I can wall break to the sketch shots and then I thought, okay, I can play maybe the king for the town hall. I mean, the king has this insane equipment, the giant flat, so... Maybe it will be enough. I have also spells, so maybe I invest then the freeze or rage spell so that the king will get the town hall. So just let's see. Focus on the queen charge, going into the multi archer tower, ground ball, a lot of damage. Need the freeze spell here so that by queen getting more life and in, into the green um, yeah, direction here. So monolith also on the queen multi on the queen poison tower. Shot on my king, so not that nice. Monolith also on my king, so I decided to use a freezer so that my king will get the tunnel here. My queen, whereas in the core, killing down the CC, the eagle artillery, and then she will go towards 3 o'clock. So, yeah, what can I do now? Only one minute left here. I use my queen ability, and what can I do now? I have to, lull, I have to stop my lava from where? Here from the multi inferno tower side so that I will also get the monolith RC at the 3 o'clock side so that um, yeah, the RC will support my queen so that my queen can survive here early haste and rage battle for my Lalo attack with the headhunters in the vulnerability very key here for me so that the enemy world champion isn't a problem especially when I don't play my own world champion with the Lalo and let's see how can this still work man royal champion is going down queen is still alive and making clean up this is nice for me but the nalo yeah not much left here for me warden also targeted by the monolith warden is going down the owl still alive but the monolith is getting down by the loot drops so this is the triple for me not uh it didn't go like planned but um yeah the reaction was on point so let's go to the next attack. I guess you know also the space this seems to be, yeah, fame, I guess. So what can I do here? I do a classic Town Hall Queen charge and Flame Flinger uh, on the side. So that the Flame Flinger will funnel for my Queen, for example, also taking out the air defense so that um, the healers aren't a problem here for in my attack. King on the other side so that my Queen is going into the Town Hall compartment. Um, so at this moment I knew, okay, my queen, I don't know if she will go back to the, uh, to the opening wall there. So I'm using my king on the upper side so that the king will funnel there and will take out the enemy royal champion. There also goes the war break. Queen is going back towards the town hall and the airbow, so this is also nice here for me. Flame fling at the same time, killing the multi-archer tower. I searched after Tesla with the balloon, so nothing found there, all fine. Wall breaking for the king, in the hope that the king will maybe get more, but the wall break was one or two seconds too late, so the king is getting outside and not towards the scatter shot. Not perfect here for me, but um, yeah, I guess the charge still looks good. I have two wall breaks left, I have my queen ability left, and two rage spells and the invisibility spell. And I guess my queen will get the whole core. Look at Look at her, I have the invisibility spell, the uh, clan castles also down with the super minions and the poison on them. So next rage in the core, get the multi tower, we'll get the monolith soon and I start my ladder into the hole. This is more easier than dropping it outside, so why shouldn't I do it so? The warn ability, one millisecond too late so that the hound pops. Like I said in the video yesterday, you want to have your hound in the warn ability so that the hound tanks all the way through the attack. But take a look, Lala is still alive, Queen is still alive, she cleared the whole corn the whole base, so Lala was just like a bit clean up for the rest. And this is the next freestyle. Yeah, this approach works on 
many box spaces. So let's see what can I do on this space. This rage setup, I guess this will be very popular for example in, or especially in Legend League because there you maybe don't have zaps anytime and here you can zap to ground post, scatter and rage tower which is insane value. But I have to queen charge it, so how does this work? I don't play a coconut loon because then the rage tower would be pulled earlier. So now the charge is fine, rage tower is popping and my plan was. What can I do? I want to charge the Town Hall. The King at the 3 o'clock side to funnel the Queen and taking out the Ricochet Cannon so that there's less damage on my Queen Charge. Fling at the same time, clearing out the Eagle, clearing out the Multi in front Tower later so that um, yeah, the Eagle isn't annoying for my Queen Charge or a Helos. You all know it, so um, this is no problem for me. Then very nice CC timing with like zero damage, multi inferno tower and builder hut, who cares on the queen charge with when you have five healers, so this is no problem. Flame flinger going to the warden so that over the warden the multi will go down. This is very nice. So testing with the loon if there are any Tesla in this compartment, but I guess this should be fine. At one war break left, can I no. Look at the war break. I don't know why the war break didn't open to the bomb tower or the core bullet hut. Not quite sure, but okay. So I have to start my Lalo at this point. Early war ability with headhunters with the rage so that I get the enemy world champion you see. Headhunters are killing them. Hound flying onto 12 o'clock in the war ability. So tanking all damage here. I can drop the loons for the air defense. And my queen is going through the right wall. From there she can reach the tunnel and the multi inferno tower and the plan was that I delay my world champion because I don't want to play my world champion in two rage ground both the ricochet cannon ground skellies and so on so I want to use my world champion for the back end but at this point I see do I need my world champion to be honest look at my Lalo my warden is still alive there's a balloon group still alive my yetis on the ground are still alive green going through the wall so yeah I don't need my world champion in this attack this entry for the space, I guess you can do this every time. You have to make a clean queen shot so that your queen will survive and gets a town hall and then you can do it like me when you have a bit of luck in the attack and then you can spectre or check it. So let's have a look at the next attack. Here we see a uh, yeah, base which is very toxic for which was toxic for the event troops um, for the cookies. So the space got very became very popular. But um, for Queen Charge, ah, not the best space, but it is possible. Because look at the Flinger. I tank the Mortar with my Queen so that the Flinger will later get the Scattershot on the right side and taking out damage with the Warden and so on. King on the other side with the Wall Break to the Air Defense so that my King will get enemy Queen, will get Air Defense, will get the Scatter and the Ricochet Cannon when, it's, when the things are going good. So let's have a look at it. Queen still fine. I don't need more rage at this moment. I'm raging aggressive so that the healers are in now war break so that it can reach both multi archer towers, eagle, multi and all those stuff. And have a look at my king. My king is just broken. Gets the enemy enemy queen, the scatter shot and the ricochet cannon with one war break and ability. This is insane value for the king with uh, his giant gauntlet. This is maybe underestimated but I guess this is Bro most broken combination of equipment at the moment. We will see what will come up next time, but uh, this is very broken and I use it like you see. So what can I do next? I have 1 minute 20 left, so I have to stop with Lalo so that I don't get time issues. Hound flying into the 3 o'clock air defense, making it into the warden so that the air defense is tanked every time. Dropping units into the air defense. I found a tornado trap and now I have 3 free spells left. I didn't need any of them for my Queen Judge, no single corner turn, no risky monolith, so um, all fine here. I'm freezing a whole time in the back and multi inferno tower with the ground floor, so this isn't a problem. Queen alive, warden alive, world champion alive, whole Lalo alive, so this space is crushed with Queen Judge Lalo. You can do this approach every time on the space, I guess. So just play the war king the warbreak strides with the king and charge the whole core so then it's no problem. Now we see another base. Now we see another base, so 
what can you do at this kind of box ring base, I guess. Um, this base is also very famed, so what can I do there? I often did a town hall chart from like 1030, but this was very inconstant with the back and with the clan castle, the multi inferno towers. So I thought, yeah, let's try something new. What is when I play a flame flinger for the fun on the ground side? The king for the other side, so that the king will fight the enemy queen maybe, luring out the clan castle. And then I will charge the rest of the base without the town hall. So let's see, how can this still work? King is there, I activate him, so yeah, things are going down, King is running towards the upper side, and then yeah, maybe fighting the enemy queen, what is my king doing? Okay, my king is stuck on a wall, so enemy queen won't go down, and my queen charge still is, is fine, the funnel is like perfect through the king and through the flame flinger, so that my queen can go into the core, I, and the first spell I used was the poison, and nothing more, and now you can see. The next step is to losing the queen ability. You all know it, it's a perfect moment on the queen charge when you have 4 rage spells left. The perfect timing for losing your queen ability. <laughs> so, well, not clean later, but let's go on. 1 minute 30 left and I'm at the point where I know, okay, my queen won't get the town hall. This wasn't planned, so it was planned that the queen don't get the town hall. It's all fine for me. But how can I drop my Lalo onto the town hall? It was clear for me, okay, when I play my Royal Champion there, my Royal Champion is down. Maybe there are one or two crown skeletons and the crown bows. So it just, um, it just was important that Milano gets the Town Hall and then with some extra loons and the Royal Champion with spells can clean up the rest. So how can this work? I activate the Warren ability here. So Town Hall is going down. I play my Royal Champion at the side here, hasting my loons on the outside so that the Teslas are going down and my Royal Champion will go directly to the Crown Bows, because the Crown Bows are the only problem in this attack here for my Royal Champion. Because for me it was true, okay, my Royal, my Royal Champion has to finish the base. But how you can see, also Balloons left here, Balloons are crushing the X-Bow, Royal Champion shield and the air defense also going down. So this approach works also very good here for me. Let's have a look at the next and the last base for this video. This is a kind of high ledger league box base, I guess. I think Klaus and Stars used it at the time, like a few days ago. So <laughs> it's fame. And you see, my plan was that you fast I charge into the eagle and then maybe wall break to the poison tower. But you know, me and my funnel, it's we are in a very private friendship, so we know each other well, and my queen is doing the thing what she didn't have to do. So Queen is stepping around and now I play the Flame Flinger for the Eagle and charge the other side. So yeah, what, what's going on? It's no problem. Say It's yeah, not planned, but <laughs> what, can, what can I do with it? It, it is just lateral like style. Okay, so my King is going outside this nice for me and the corridor King doesn't have any, yeah, any mission, any aim. So the Flame Flinger looks nice because the ground is tanked the whole time for during the cream, but I delayed my poison, I forgot to place it, so queen ability is down. And then now the crown bow is on the flame finger, so flame finger is opening soon. So what can I do now? Okay, I have the queen on the core, the flame flinger will open the walls for my queen. This is not bad, I guess. I'm playing my Lalo straight into the town hall warden monolith, all this much hero damage there. You don't want to play a Royal Champion with it. So, delaying your Royal Champion here. Lalo going into Tunnel is activated, early warn ability, so that things here like Crown Bows are getting crushed. And what's important for me, so that the Queen is still alive with the healers. I Now, at this time, I saw every time my Queen, I have an eye on it, so that they, so that she won't die. I see, okay, it's okay, Crown Bow going down, Royal Champion is there, I'm freezing the Multi Archer Tower, and I saw. Okay, I still got it. Charge was like completely other plant, but who cares? Thanks you for watching, and I hope this helps you crushing other box bases. See you.